Just because you want to rip doesn't mean we all want to rip yet. We're going to rip. This might be never been done before. It's like five in the morning right now, by the way. All right, this is a retard move, Four but seven. I think you can do it. If I why. fuck my car up, Judah's gonna help fix it. You know why I think you can do it? He actually said that. Because it has the monarch wristband on right now. Yeah, I think you got it. You're gonna help fix it if I go through this right now. I don't know if I fix it, but I'll I'll be emotional support. <laughs> yeah, I, I need more than emotion. emotional support. <laughs> I need more than emotions. A little physical too, maybe. A little physical. I'll give you. I'll give you something. A little hug. You gonna you gonna if I. And clap the undercarriage of my shit. Nah, you gonna nah, help nah, me don't out? Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. I'm fucking exhausted. I'm going to bed. I'm not staying up all night. Now we're good, bro. We're good. Oh, shut There's someone here, bro. Is it Max? My bad, my bad, oh. my bad. That scared me, honestly. When you jumped, I got scared. All right, we're good. Figure that shit out. And good night. One backpack on monarch.com is gonna get this brick of cash in. As you guys know, I just launched my best deal of all time, the $67 mystery backpack it's valued at 120 dollars and one of them from now to sunday is going to get this brick of cash in it so hit the link get entered to win my camo f250 and possibly win a thousand bucks and worst case scenario you get a fire deal on that backpack 67 bucks valued at 120 bucks it's going to have a whole bunch of cool stuff in it because it's a mystery backpack so hit the link monarch.com get entered to win the truck and good luck Help has arrived. Our hero here came out just for us. I posted on my story, I was like, who can help us? And he's like, I got you, so. All right, so since it's broken, we gotta pull it on, because obviously you can't drive it. The thing actually still looks pretty solid. I might have to give it a couple more inches. It's a six inch lift now. Maybe I need to do an eight now. Good. What is that? Yeah, is that mine? Yeah. Fresh. Oh, no, this ain't me. Come on. This ain't me, no, no way. <laughs> That shit's way too, no way my shit, this is a side-by-side -side diff. What'd they do, they just dropped it? I think I said, I was like, we're gonna build it and we're gonna rip it and we're gonna break it and then we're gonna build it bit bigger. So the build uh, continues, you know? this isn't a bad thing. This just is all part of the process. It's leaking? Oh my God. Wow, what the fuck, yo? Wow. In the G-Wagon? The best thing I could ever smell is vodka. Piece. Why is that? Because it fucking evaporates. Who told you that? It's vodka, think about it, it's like alcohol. Like water would be worse. I threw this and realized that's probably really fucked up. This fucking push light comes under the floorboard of the G-Wagon. <laughs> Bro, this is the This shit got dirty as fuck yesterday. I'm gonna be honest, I don't think I've ever seen anyone off-road a G-Wagon like this other than Whistling Diesel. That he did that for a video. He, this is his daily. Yeah, this is a daily. Yeah, that's a little that's bit different. Whistling Diesel, I'm this screaming gas. A lot of things didn't hold up this weekend, but one thing that did hold up is these Monarch straps. Gotta give it to them. I'm very impressed. The Hellcat broke, but the straps didn't, so I didn't make the Hellcat, that's why. If I made it and it was Monarch, it would have lasted. Let's get a little examine of what's going on. Okay, so this is what broke. I know it was dark, but this is supposed to be connected to the body, and there's a bolt that goes through here, and there's two spacers, but we snapped the bolt, and then the whole rear end dropped, and then the uh, drive shaft fell out. So hopefully, I just need to put new mounts in there, and then bolt it back up and we'll be good. That's the plan. This is a nice cut right here, buddy. Yep, little sawzall action. <laughs> this clear? is insane. Can you tell it's cut? Or does it look OEM? It's OEM. Close both eyes. Seem worse? Seem worse. Okay. I'm glad your hair cut. Okay. <laughs> so he didn't only come to get us, but he got us some new wheels that he's donating to the build. And then he got us some new shocks that he's donating to the build. We'll get it, buddy. That's great. 
What the? What up, what up? Is that your daily or what? Nah, man. I bought this off my sister-in-law for 500 bucks. That thing's badass. <laughs> Thank you, man. I got more in the tires than the wheel spaces than the yeah? car. Yeah? Yeah, that thing's sweet, bro. I like it. Yeah, yeah. Nah. Did it die down or? It did. Yeah, it went too hard. Well, next time we gotta jump it harder. We're dropping off the Hellcat back at Adams. Adams, the guy that built it. Extra performance. So he's gonna be like, damn it, Judah. Are you excited to see me? <laughs> this thing has a 100 mile warranty, right? Yeah. On this lift kit. The drive shaft broke while I was romping it, and then it got wedged in the ground, and it pushed on that. You know what I mean? Because think about it, why would that snap? Oh, what the Yeah, but think about it, if it fell, it would hit the dirt and shove everything back. Yeah, that's gotta be it. See what it says? Oh, that's awesome. Do a brake repair. There I you made, go. I made this like two years ago, and I think I might have jinxed it. Dude, this is a disaster. Easy. Easy. Oh, oh my God. It is what it is. Whatever happened, happened. Like I know, but I'm not trying to bail you out tonight. I hope you don't go to jail. What would I go for? Driving an unregistered car with it, no insurance. I'm being honest, I don't even know what happened. You don't know what happened? No, I was following him. So we're going to drop this off at the shop right now. Then I got hit. This car's red. How did she not see me? So I just came up with this new shirt before this happened. I, I just finished it today. And look at what the shirt says. Build, break, repair. <laughs> Perfect. I was gonna drop this like literally on this video for the Hellcat. That's the name of the game, you know? Build, break, repair. But now it really hits different right now. I'm not gonna lie. This shirt, it hits home. I've done a lot of crazy stuff and this thing's held up good. I don't even think anything bad happened. I think it just the drive shaft came disconnected and it snapped everything. Yeah, we'll add in a little bracing so it won't happen. Yeah. Oh, can we just make it full of drive too? People keep saying to me, I'm like, you know what that takes? His name's Jose. DIY Gang is his YouTube channel. He put a um, Trackhawk Trans in his Hellcat and a Trackhawk front end. So then his Hellcat is like a four-wheel drive, but his isn't lifted. So it is pretty lame because it's not lifted. But other than that, you know, the four-wheel drive is pretty badass. You know, we might have to, might have to do that. <laughs> bumper it's upside down right now but i want to cut it here and then we're gonna make it like metal or something so i don't keep ripping it off cut it right there and then put something else under it same thing on the rear i think that'll be pretty sick so i guess that's the plan had to and they're really nice and they put your screws back someone took the dealer plate they, they had to have taken my plate to dealer plate there's no way could have unless i didn't put it on you put it on i put it on mm -hmm. right well, you're probably the only person that would put the screws back in. Someone's stealing your plate, no one's putting the screws back in. So That's what I'm saying. You were just riding around, riding dirty. <laughs> you remember me putting the plate on, right? Yeah, because we double checked on the truck before we left, because the truck had the wrong plate on it. And there's no way it fell off with the screws in it. All right, we're, we just realized my plate's missing. And I have a dealer plate, so that means I can put it from car to car, and it's not on here. Someone had to have stolen it, and they fucking put the screws back on, because the, okay, the screws are still here. There's no way the plate fell off with the screws still on there. That's impossible. But if someone stole it, why would they put my screws back? So that means someone stole the plate and put the screws back in. But there's like... I mean, I guess they, the dirt could just stay on, but... It's really weird, dude. Yeah. It's really they weird. They probably felt bad about it, and they're like, well, we'll leave the screws. I wonder when they stole it. Maybe they stole it earlier in the day or something? Did you leave it overnight when it was broken down? Yeah, it was right by our camp. I didn't know people steal plates like that. I'm just going to report stolen. Why would anyone want your stolen plate? Obviously, you're going to report it. Well, plate's gone. That's not good. Got to get a new one now. <laughs> <laughs> 